Hey everyone, so today I was looking through my videos, well last night, and I realized that I haven't done a flip through of my new Bible yet. So I did a review for this, um, checking it out and looking at it, uh, uh, yeah, a few months ago. And so I have been using this Bible strictly for black and white journaling. So that's what I've been doing in here. I tagged everything that I've done so far so I could easily find them for you guys. But I've done quite a few pages so far. So I thought I would do a flip through and talk about my process for a couple of these. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the uh, in ESV Crossway. This is the um, their artist editions. So this one is called Garden. And that's the card, so I will link it down below so you can so you can find it if you want to see it. But let's go ahead and just start with the first page. So I'm mostly using this to practice my drawing as well because l not lately, but like in the past, I've done a lot of tracing and I haven't done as much drawing as I used to. So I am go I am attempting to do a more drawing. So this page, I drew everything except for. The lion. For some reason, I could not draw the lion, so that is traced. But I did draw everything else, and this page I just wanted to represent literally everything that God created. So we have um, we have us as humans. We have wild animals. We have animals of the sea. We have serpents. We have cattle. We have um, birds. We have the moon and the stars and the planets and everything. And then we have the tree because he also makes the fruit and everything that is in the ground. So this is kind of a page just to represent everything that God created. And I just absolutely, absolutely love this page. I think it's one of my absolute favorites. So I did that one. Next up, I did a double page spread. This, um, I think I, I traced this one. I don't think I traced that one. But I just kind of like this because like, it was talking about how like, uh, he's talking to, I think, Abraham. Yeah, he's talking to Abraham and how he's going to make his name great. And so I wanted to do something like in a little keyhole and like seeing like the bigger vision behind the keyhole. And so did that. This is for when Abraham's wife, when they talk about how lovely she is. So I just did a little image of a woman there. I haven't done anything else in Genesis. I really should do more because I'm actually almost done reading Genesis. Let's see. Next one. So this one's one of my favorites. I just did a black background and I did angel wings and it says take refuge in the shadow of your wings. And I just love this one. So I did some white paint on black acrylic background and as you can see, it doesn't bleed through. It just, you can see a little bit of shadowing but no bleed through. And then I did this one that says half faith will travel. And I've been kind of practicing along with lettering and just seeing different designs and stuff. I actually really like that one. Okay, next one that we have. I don't have too many in here, but I have enough to flip through and talk about. So I did this one. This is actually stamps, and it did bleed through, but not actually too bad, because I used one uh, that is a little bit better for Bible journaling, but I did uh, end up It did end up shadowing through, but I'm actually thinking about like just tracing it out and having it again on this side and just maybe using different colors for the flowers. So this is blessed. This is the one you choose and bring near. So just a really pretty simple page there. All of these are going to be more simple and more easy for like beginners uh, or just drawing and doodling. I enjoy it. So this one was... Uh, Stencils and distress ink, but my hand lettering is not centered, so forgive me for that. I could actually add possibly another line of the verse just to go down here, but it's fine. We learn as we go, right? All right, next one. Another black with white acrylic paint marker on top, um, Posca pens. And it just says, make a joyful noise to the Lord. His steadfast love endures forever. So this is actually... Two separate verses because you can see the little dots that I put there. But it was just fun and I definitely want to do more black acrylic paint backgrounds. I've only done a few and I want to do more because they're fun. And this one was actually, this was stamps too. 
But because I did the black background, you don't see the bleed through from the stamp, so I love that. And I also used some Tombow brush pens in grayscale to color in the birds and stuff. So I absolutely love that one. That was one of my first ones in here. All right, next one is uh, Proverbs. I am almost done journaling in Proverbs. I am so happy. I actually should have been done with this about a week or two ago, but things happen. Actually, probably further along than that, but that's okay. So I'm going to move this out of the way, but I um, can't remember. I think I did trace her in, and I, did, I got the necklace from something else. I can't remember if I traced it or not, but I love that one because it goes with, Hear my son your father's instruction, and forsake not your mother's teaching. For they are a graceful garland for your head and pendant for your neck. So I wanted some, a girl with garland and a necklace so to represent that verse. And this one, this one isn't my favorite but it's still okay. It says, find the knowledge of God. And I think it kind of went with this verse because like sometimes we have to like search behind the curtain and search even deeper and farther than we realize. So I think it turned out kind of cute. And then this one, it was just a doodling page, another doodling page with a tree and a path. So it was kind of fun just doodling. Some like this is just has like a little simple stone path with a verse in the center. And this was a washi tape page. I think I did this one on my channel. So if I did, I'll link it down below in the description box if you want to check it out. But it's just a simple washi, washi tape page. A couple more doodlings. Yeah, so I've been trying to, to stay away from tracing as much as I can. Unless it's something that like I really like and like I can't draw that. <laughs> but I've been really enjoying it. This one was fun just adding all those flowers. Like, I never really do like Zen doodle style, but like, I don't know why, but I really wanted to do it for that page and I really like how it turned out. And this one, it's, I love my lips because when I was reading this page, like there's like three verses with lips in it and I just kind of wanted to do Larry Boy and his funny lip song that he has in Veggie Tales, So I had to do that. And this one's adorable. One gives freely, yet grows all the richer. So cute little hedgehog printable that I found and I ended up, I think I traced this one, but it was cute because I didn't think I could get the present in the hands correctly. And then I got a couple of minions. These were cute. I like doing the minions, they were fun. So I thought I would put one on each side to kind of go together. And then I like this one. I like kind of just doing the border with the crown and everything. So the, both of these kind of turned out really cute. And um, let me tell you, Pinterest is like one of the best places to look for inspiration. Like just to look for like simple drawings or just really anything. Like if you're looking for florals, type in like black and white flowers or illustrations. And you'll get stuff like this where I found something similar and I just added some flowers into my page. And this is, I commit my work to the Lord. So I put uh, YouTube. I put my life story because I need to write the book that he wants me to write. <laughs> and then traveling around the world. Not yet, but in the future. And then this one was Posca Pens. This one was just fun. <laughs> just making a whole bunch of different splotches. And yeah, that was just a fun page. Sometimes like, I just do pages like this. So, like don't really have rhyme or reason. But it's just fun, and I just I can put something on the page and just add up add the Bible verse that I'm reading that day, and it works out good. And this one just has a bunch of hearts, a couple I put some tracing around or black outline. This one was fun. I I think I hand drew this. I was like, did I really do that? <laughs> but yeah, so I did the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and it says, "You Lord are my strong tower. It is safe where you are." So I love that. I wanted to put that in there. And then next is an open book, which I think turned out really cute. That one's really cute. And then these birds, oh my goodness, they're so cute. I love those birds. <laughs> they're so adorable. And this one, this one was fun. I saw this idea and I was like, that's such a cool idea to kind of split the difference and then make black flowers and white flowers. And I, I really love that. So I definitely think I want to do a couple more pages that way. because That one's a lot of fun. And this one, um, I just kind of wanted to because it said the Lord made you and me. So I thought... Why not just add a bunch of confetti, you know, like sprinkle it down and then have like a bunch of confetti down here. Turned out cute. And I did this one. Um, I can definitely tell that I hand drew this because like 
The one leg is crooked and I have no idea why. Like her knee is here, but like her leg is over here. I don't know. <laughs> but it's fine because it still looks fine. And you know, if you mess up, it's okay. It's okay if you mess up and you don't like what you draw because this is your Bible. And you know, if you don't like it, you can always ju just put some um, pretty colorful paper on top and add something different. So far, I haven't really done that. I think I might have done it once or twice, but it's just always fun to see uh, where things go when you draw. This one was fun. So I ended up coloring in the vase in a light gray. That way, like, stuff in the back of the next page wouldn't really show through too much. And I also wanted to color the vase, so it turned out really cute. And then this one, I love this one. So my first time ever drawing bees, and I love how it turned out. I love it. So I was really excited when I drew these bees and it was so much fun. There's a bee in the corner too and everything. So yeah, it was a, bun a bunch of fun. And I even did the honey drippings, which I love to do. And I did it in grayscale. So really fun. I wish I would have done the honey a little bit farther down, but I didn't want to go into the words. And then this one, I drew my little, little house here. And what's next? Oh, I love this page. I did trace in the gemstones because my my lines are really crooked I, I mean I could have used a ruler <laughs> would have been helpful but it was nice to, to trace and I colored it in with Tombow brush pens and yeah it turned out super cute and I love that page absolutely love it next up I did trace this one but I loved this image so so much it says he has made everything beautiful in its time and I just love that I love the beauty breaking through the light bulb and I just love that. I love that so much. So I did trace that image, but I, I wanted that image in my Bible. I love it. So yeah, if you're uncomfortable with drawing, tracing is a great alternative and don't be ashamed to trace because I trace a lot. All right, so this one was just practicing some hand lettering, um, trying to get comfortable with like different fonts because I tend to only use one font, but I love the way like different fonts look so on like one page. So I've been trying my hand at that. I want to do more like that just to see how it goes. All right, next page. Oh, I missed some. <laughs> I thought I I got everybody. I, mean, I must have missed one, but this is just a prayer page. Um, nothing super detailed or anything. So this one, this Bible can also be used just for note taking or for prayers. And so I decided to put some prayers too as well. So this isn't bad, actually. Um, one of my very first times actually attempting to draw hands without tracing, and it turned out okay. I like it. So it says, for I, the Lord, your God, hold your right hand. So I like it a lot. It's cute. And this is just another prayer with a cute little doodle heart that I drew. This is also a great Bible to, like, just bring with you to church, and you can just add your prayers, add notes, um, just doodle, like, Bring a pen and just doodle. I love this one. I was, I was really happy with the way, way, the way the mountains turned out. But yes, it's, I will make all, all my mountains a road. So, so is the road and mountains turn into the road. And this is just a doodle one. And I use black paint to make kind of these banners. And it does shadow through, but I can do the exact same thing on the other side. Or use like a black piece of paper or black acrylic paint again. Just to create something else. Actually, you know what? I don't think I used a paint pen. I wonder what I used there. Because the shadow's a little bit too much for a paint pen. Maybe I used a marker instead. But yeah, so just a prayer there. And then over here, I love this one. This one was so much fun. It says, the wind blows where it wishes. So I drew, oh man, this, I can't tell you how long this took. It probably took a good hour to draw. <laughs> Because of all those little things, but I think I made them too big, but they're super cute. I love, I love how they turned out. It was so much fun. This one was for a Bible journaling challenge in one of my book, in book groups, <laughs> Bible journaling groups. And that turned out so cute. I love how it turned out. And yeah, so it was colorful in the, in the example, but I wanted to do the black and white grayscale. So it turned out really cute. All right. Last couple in the back here. I might keep the tabs in here so that way I know which ones I've already showed you. Great idea. <laughs> and then I did this one. It's just stickers from a Happy Planner book that I had that were black and white. And then I added all the Fruit of the Spirit in there, which I thought was kind of fun. 
I'm not exactly sure if I like the white stickers because like, especially with the yellow pages, but it's okay. And then this one, this one has an interesting, interesting like idea behind it. I like how it turned out and I like that I did it because I was having like a very stressful day and just a lot of weird things going on. And so I kind of felt anxious and, um, I don't know, just anxious. I needed to turn my heart a different way back toward God. And so like, I just, I just doodled. I doodled my way. Uh, there's like a little face here that I just kind of scratched out. Like there's different things in here. It's like, that's just how I felt that day. I felt very anxious and I just needed to put it on a page and say, okay, God, here you go. <laughs> so I had like hashtags, like hashtag guard your heart, hashtag known to God, hashtag peace and hashtag do not be anxious. So I have some here and I actually really love that page. And then this is the last one. So this one is every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And so I drew the sun and a bunch of presents coming down from above. So I thought that was a really cute idea. And I think I did that during um, Bible study at church one time. But yeah, so I pay attention more when I doodle. But anyway, so that is it. That is my Bible journaling journey. I want to go back to Proverbs really quick just to put a note here that says, hey, finish Proverbs. Because <laughs> I have my, my verses highlighted. I just haven't, haven't journaled yet. So yeah, so that is my black and white journaling tour. I hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any Bible journaling videos. I post every Wednesday. I do uh, beginner tutorials as well as like Bible journaling full throughs like this and as well Bible journaling hauls too. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video.